Hi, I'm Rick Streaker, Packard's National Training Coordinator. In this session of the Packard Academy, we're going to talk about ways that we might be able to extend the life of our switches, specifically switches like relays and contactors. When I do some of my classes, one of the things that is really common is for the contractors in the class to say, gosh, my contactors just see, seem to fail too quickly. And it seems that the contacts are, are uh, uh, corroding on the contactors. Uh, they're getting pitting. And what can I do about that? What's causing that? Switches are opening and closing circuits. And when I have power, going through that circuit and across those points of contact and I take that power away, I open that contact and there's still power uh, going to that, it will cause arcing at that point. And that arcing will create pitting into those contacts, even weld those contacts. So when we look at uh, contactors and we look at relays, some of the, the major reasons for failure, we'll see bugs. One of the things that's done to help prevent that is if we look at contactors, a lot of times they'll have covers on them to try and keep the bugs out from the contacts. Maybe oil or moisture that's in the air that can accumulate on the points of the contact. Dirt, poor connections to the contactor will cause failure. The load and the power connections to the contactor need to be clean and tight in order to extend the life of your contactor. But one of the major reasons for failure is the pitting. The arcing that we see across those contact points. What can we do about that? Well, when we look at Compressors, for example, and if a compressor has a start capacitor on it, with that start capacitor, you always should put a bleed resistor across that start capacitor, which will dissipate that voltage flowing through the, the start capacitor because the start capacitor will hold and release electrical energy. That bleed resistor will dissipate that energy so when those contacts will go back to the normally closed position, there's no voltage in there that will arc across the contact points. Well, that's great for a start capacitor and a potential relay. But what about our contactors? What about relays, a normal fan relay? How can I prevent that from marking? I may not have a start capacitor in there that's creating that arcing scenario. There's an innovative new device that suppresses that arcing. It's called the no spark. And it suppresses the arcing that would normally be seen on those contact points. The device will shunt the voltage as that voltage is going across that contact at the time of opening that circuit. And shunting that will then reduce that arc voltage going across those contact points. Reducing that will virtually eliminate the sparking. 99.9% .9 of the arcing is taken away from that circuit. Can result in up to 10 times the life of your switches. Now we have a simulator that shows the effect of the no spark when you apply it to a switch. Now in this case we have a single pole switch and we only have one leg of power that will be protecting. Generally on single phase if it's going across two sets of contacts we recommend that the no spark be added to each leg of that, the circuitry on that switch. So we're going to simulate the sparking that we typically will see in an application and then the effect of going through the no spark in controlling that arcing. Now in this case we're using a heater 
a space heater as a load. I have to have a load going through the switch. If there's no load going through the switch, I'm not operating anything. So the load could be a motor, it could be a compressor, could be any number of devices that I have. But in this case, we're using a heater. And so the heater will be operated through this relay. And we're able to see internally what's going on inside that relay as I apply power. In order to make the sparking more visible in this demo, we've dimmed the lights. When we operate this without the no spark, you can see the sparking when that is breaking, when the switch is opening and the descent arc is visible. Increasing the number of times that it opens and closes increases the sparking, which is very visible. Well, now let's look at this with the no spark device attached. And as we increase the number of contacts, we see the, visibly see the reduction in the arcing. As a result of that, I can extend the life of my switches. Thanks. Come back to the Packard Academy.